as the Lord and not stutter in it and not be like a carousel up and down or be like a hair that's a flash in the pan kind of thing that it, there is a consistency of our faith that works out in, in this thing called patience. Running with patience is daily demonstrating faith by enduring whatever comes in your Christian life and reacting in a way that pleases the Lord. It is being consistent and faithful in trust that obeys him, that does not waver, that does not complain, that does not falter, that does not quit, that does not compromise day after day. And this is really the heart of it. Day after day and day after day and day after day and day after day until the day you die and stand before him. That consistency of faith is patience. As I studied this hard, we came through with several things as you go through the verses in the New Testament on what this patience is of faith, and this is what it is. Patience means you'll not quit being a faithful Christian when you don't understand God. Perhaps you're tempted because God does his own thing. And it's not your thing. So you're going to just, you are just going to be lazy for God. You're just not going to give him your best because obviously he didn't give you his best because he didn't do what you wanted him to do in your life. And all these things came. Patience runs on and trusts the Lord. When that disaster hits or when tragedy hits or when your loved one is suffering greatly, uh, running with patience means you will finish this Christian life well in, in close fellowship with God, pleasing him, never giving up. Though you may not understand, running on, running on faithfully, running on trustingly. It means running with constancy each day, being faithful. Today, spending time in the word. Today, praying. Today, giving the gospel. Today, refusing sin. Today, pursuing righteousness. Today, going to church if there are services. Running with patience is a lifelong day of being consistent every day. That's running with patience. That's what the Lord has for you in verse number one. Running with patience is a lifetime of being consistent today. Meet believers, talk with believers, and they say things like this, you know, I would like to do this. That's all future. Someday I'm hoping to. That's all future. Do you know the future never comes? Do you know that you have to make the future right now? And then, and then when you do it, it will be the past. That's deep. Man, that's deep. Some of you are like that. You have these great things that you think you're going to do for God today. Running with patience means I do it today, and then I do it tomorrow, and then I do it the next day, and then I do it the next day, and then I do it the next day. It is this baby steps that you end your life every day being consistent. Today, today is the day to, be, to run with patience. Running with patience also means that you'll be cheerful. There is a, this, this word has in it cheerful endurance, the word patience. There's this cheer word. Man, I don't like that. Sometimes it's much easier to be a grumpy Christian. You know? It's zeal for the Lord, I tell you. When I ran that man off the road, it was zeal for the Lord. No, running with patience means you'll be cheerful whatever God's trials or some Satan's temptations throw your way. You'll be faithful as a cheerful Christian. It, it, the word cheer is built into the word patience. If you are an old, sour, pushed Christian that has nothing but criticism and complaints and pity for yourself, you are not running with patience. I have, you know, I'm a pillar of the church, and I have the gift of criticism. <laughs> no, you're not running with patience. Within the definition of patience is someone who is happy as they run. Being frank or critical is a weight and a sin to set aside. Running with patience also means, as you study through the passages, it means keeping the rules. The, this endurance is within the rules of the marathon. It is day after day, year after year, being obedient to your Lord, obedience daily to your Lord. That is running with patience. It's consistency within the rules. The Bible says only lawful runners will receive the prize. Only those that obey the Lord. As you are saved, after you are saved... You, the Lord really does expect you to keep his word, to be obedient to it. And he'll never take away your salvation for being disobedient. He will chasten you as a Christian. But, but running with patience means I obey him on a daily basis in real time things. So proud of a fellow, I guess I call him young man, I don't know, 
This morning that I heard of that refused to take a job, though he needs a job, he refused to take that job because that job he would have to work every Lord's Day. And he chose, though he needs the money, he chose to, listen, that is running lawfully, running with patience and constancy. I obey the Lord and I choose that he will bless me as he chooses to bless me. I make these real-time rubber meets the road decisions. That's running with patience. Running with patience also has strong implication of waiting. Waiting. When I run as a Christian, this Christian life, it has a strong, the strong point of patience is waiting on the Lord, though I don't understand him. Faith has a time endurance factor. If you look back to Hebrews chapter 11, these people, many of these people had to wait many, 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 many years to understand what God was doing. But they just kept running like the tortoise. Here I go. I'm consistent. I'm going to keep on for the Lord. Wait on the Lord is used over and over in Scripture. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Faith has a time endurance factor. Patience is not rushing God. Not demanding from God, but allowing him to work in your life in his own timing. Running with patience is a trust and waiting game. It's a marathon. is about trusting and waiting on him and allowing him to move at his own timing. Running with patience has an acceptance and a contentment factor. Americans have a hard time being content. We do. We have so much that we just need a little bit more. God may have you run an uphill battle, an uphill marathon, your entire Christian life. Grace, do you hear me? Let me say that again. The Lord may have you to run an uphill battle, your entire Christian race. I know Christians like that. Every step, it seems like every day something new happens, some new tragedy, some new thing that comes against them. Almost every day, new trials. Listen, what is that to you? Run the race that God has set before you. And I mean that. I don't want to be uncompassionate in any way. But he has a, the best race for you, and it may be uphill all the way. Be, accept that and be content with that. Run the race that he has set before you. You'll notice, look please, the Bible says there in verse number 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Actually, actually let's back up in verse number 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with such a great cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. It's like this. How many of you have ever run a race before? How many of you ever drove a car in a race? How many of you saw a race on television? How many of you know what the word race means? How many of you are awake, okay? You know, they have a course, you know, and, and maybe if you're running a marathon or running something like that, there's a course, and you go this way, you go left at this building, whatever, and there's a course that you've got to run, you've got to follow the run. Listen, God has a course for your life, and it might be uphill all the way. Running with patience means you accept that. And you say, Lord, you know best. If you think of great men of the past, the martyrs of the faith, it ain't a terrible life set before them. That was the race that God, and he will thoroughly reward them. Don't get me wrong. What is that to you? What is it to you if my race is easier than your race? Don't be discouraged if your race is harder than my race or vice versa. We have a set race that is set before us that we must run. Run it consistently. Trust him. Accept your race. Be content with it. All of these nuances of defining running with patience are right on the mark. They're right on the money of what God is teaching you in this passage. This is how we are to run. It's not automatic. It is the strategy of our running. Every sport has its hero. I almost was going to name some heroes of sports, but I don't want to take anything away from the Lord Jesus. There's none of those guys, Larry Bird or whoever, Babe Ruth. None of them can compare to what's being said here. Notice what it says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of faith. He is our hero. He is the one that we mimic ourselves after how to run, looking unto him. Verse 2 says, as our hero, Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. That is, the, that is look here, the author and finisher. He wrote the course. He, desi he designed the whole Christian marathon. He designed the whole thing. He is the author of it. That is, he is the, the only reason that we run the Christian race or, or, or that we're even Christians is because of Christ. You get it? We would just be ends without the Lord, Jesus Christ. All right, he is the one. He is the creator of the race. He created the possibility for salvation faith on that cross and that faith in God. There could be no faith in God without Christ. He is the creator of the race. Yes, no, yet notice, listen, he's not just a creator. He ran it too. This is a point that is underemphasized in Christianity, that Jesus Christ ran perfectly in those 32 years. He is the perfect example for you. He is the hero. We are to mimic him. He is the best marathon runner ever. 
He also ran that race perfectly for those 33, 32 years on this, on this earth, and he finished it perfectly, running with patience. Verse 2 says, look at him. 